start to come over onto all fours. So your knees are below your hips, your hands are below the shoulders, spreading those hands evenly and just grounding through, finding a natural neutral length through the spine. From here, you're going to tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, round through and stretch. And then gently release towards the floor, pull the shoulder blades down the back and take your gaze forward. Scoop through the tummy muscles, round, stretch, breathe. And then release, dipping the tummy towards the floor, pulling the shoulder blades down the back. And then again, a couple more times, rounding, stretching, breathing. And then releasing and dipping. Use your own breath and find your own flow as you round and release. Now we're going to sit back onto your heels. So take your feet wide, sink the bottom back in, onto the heels and reach your hands forward. Again, we'll start with some movement. So when you're ready, move your hands over to one side, feeling the stretch and feeling the length, reaching through the fingertips and stretching to where you can. Then, pause if you need to for longer, but try and create some flow, walking the hands around to the other side, stretching and releasing and then continue in your own time going from one side to the other and again try and find some flow we'll have plenty of time to hold these positions in a moment And then when you are ready, changing sides, coming over, stretching and holding, breathing into your back and relaxing. and let's move through your downward dog to stretch through those legs. So bringing yourself up, tuck your toes, lift and lengthen and find some length down the back of the legs. You can tread through the feet here or you can hold the position. Remember you have three points. You've got your heels drawing you down towards the floor, the bottom lengthening and lifting you up and the chest drawing in towards your thighs. Your hands are pushing towards the top of the mat, so your weight is even from your upper body to your lower body. And those heels don't have to touch the floor, but you want the energy going down into the floor. And then again, you've got the option to tread through your feet. Child's pose is always there. And you can always roll out your wrists. But let's spend a few breaths in downward dog. Now when you are ready, let's go to your pigeon pose. So take your right leg up towards the ceiling, 
bring it through so the side of the calf is onto the floor, your right heel is in towards your left hip. Then lengthen that right left leg back behind you, even out those hips, and then you can stay here, or you can start to release and relax, taking the hands down, the head down, maybe the forehead onto your hands, to breathe, release, and relax. Now your alternative, if you want to, is coming round to lie on your back, crossing your right ankle just above the left knee, and bringing that leg in. And again, we're gonna hold for a good few breaths here, stretching into the glutes and the hips, and just breathing and relaxing. Close your eyes and soften into the position. When you're ready, bring yourself out onto your hands, tuck your toes, and then again, we'll come up through, tread through the feet. Changing sides, take your left leg, extend up, and again, we'll bring it through, placing the side of the calf onto the floor, lengthening your right leg back. Maybe pausing here, maybe going down further, maybe all the way. Let's spend a few breaths, breathing, relaxing, and releasing on this side. Ready, gradually bring yourself up taking your time and again bringing yourself back round to your butterfly. Soles of your feet together, knees out to the side and then releasing, relaxing forwards over those legs. Take a few deep breaths here and if you want to go that step further, take the legs out to the side, knees and toes up towards the ceiling and start to walk those hands out in front, stretching through those inner thighs, releasing and relaxing. Gradually ease yourself out, whichever position you are in, and let's extend your legs out in front of you. Pull your toes towards your shins. If you have a yoga strap or a dressing gown belt that you want to use to help you in this position, then you can grab that now. If not, ground through the tailbone, lengthen through the crown of the head, take a deep breath in, arms come all the way up. Now let's find some flow first of all. Reaching forwards over your legs, stretching to where you can, then tucking your chin, rebuilding and restacking, gradually bringing yourself up to seated. Take a deep breath in, arms come all the way up, find that length, reach, lengthen, fold forwards and rebuild. Now again, when you're ready, find your own flow and do a few more repetitions of this.
Now on your next one, let's hold that stretch using your strap or your dressing gown belt if you need to. Reaching over, finding the length, placing the hands onto the thighs, the shins, the ankles, the feet, or your strap, and then relaxing and releasing. Try and lead with your chest, try and keep the length through the crown of your head. Let's take a couple of breaths, just holding, releasing, and relaxing in this posture. slightly back behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades in and down and lift your chest, opening out the heart, breathing, releasing and relaxing. Lifting if you want to through the hips, maybe placing one foot down and pressing up to open further, reaching and lengthening. Then gradually release, let's hug the knees, round through the back, Stretch to where you can. And then when you are ready, let's go one more time, extend the legs, lift the heart, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Again, you can lift up, find that length, maybe place the other foot down for a little bit more support. Take one deep breath in and out. And then release. Bringing both knees in, give the knees a hug, find that stretch. 